me how do I feel Cozy and clinging Well sir all I can say is if I were a bell I'd be freaking From the moment we kiss goodnight That's the way I just gotta behave If I were a lamp by his light And if I were a bit of right wave Ask me how do I feel With my quiet upbringing Well sir all I can say is If I were a gate I'd be swinging And if I were a watch I'd start Popping my springs And if I were a bell I'd go ding dong ding dong ding Ask me how do I feel with my quiet upbringing Well sir all I can say is if I were a bell I'd be ringing From the moment we kiss goodnight That's the way I just gotta behave If I were a lamp by light And if I were up in a right way Ask me how do I feel With my quiet upbringing Well sir all I can see is if I were a kid I'd be swinging But for a watch I'd start Popping my springs And if I were a bell I'd go ding dong ding dong ding This is Katie Thoreau with DiscoverDoubleBass.com and I'm here to briefly describe to you what it's like to play and sing at the same time. I did a song called If I Were a Bell and I first heard this song from Miles Davis's record, Relaxin' with the Miles Davis Quintet. And at this point, I was already playing bass and I was singing, but I didn't do the both of them together. And I was transcribing Paul Chambers' bass lines on the record, which I absolutely loved. And I was transcribing Miles Davis's solo on the record, which I also absolutely loved. And one of my teachers at the time uh, was Kristen Korb, and she said, why don't you do the both of them together? And I had never thought about doing that, combining a transcribed bass line and a transcribed trumpet line or a horn line. So I kind of just started doing that almost as an exercise in harmony and learning how things worked at the same time. So when I just did this demonstration, I did a real simple version of If I Were a Bell, and I started off in a two feel, and then I went to a four feel to show how it's different and it changes a little bit. But my number one piece of advice, if you want to start singing and playing bass at the same time, is do them both completely separately to start. And we like to call it divide and conquer. So really nail that bass line. Do it so you can do it in your sleep. And I don't mean, you know, memorize which notes you're going to play. I mean, you really know those chord changes. Really cold. And you can walk them. I'm not even thinking about adding the voice. I'm not thinking about adding the voice yet. I'm just playing the changes so I really, really know them. And then I put that aside, forget about it. And then I focus on the voice and what's happening there. And nail that so I can do that without the bass easily. Ask me how do I feel cozy and clinging. So I've just got that melody going on. So I've kind of divided them and then when you first try and put it together, it is a little bit like, you know, I can't really quite do this, but it is kind of like doing that. It's actually easier to play bass and sing than to do that motion for me. So you really break it down slowly. You don't need a metronome or anything, but you start to realize when the voice is singing and when the bass is playing separately. And then you realize when it's happening together. So a song like this has a pickup. One, two, three, four, one, two. Ask me how do I feel cozy and clinging? Well, sir, all I could say is if I were a bell, I'd be ringing. So I'm really trying to just figure out 
when I'm only singing as opposed to only paying bass and then when those happen. So it obviously happens. Ask me how do I feel? Cozy and clinging. You can start to see when you're playing the bass as the same time as the voice. And I really recommend practicing this in just a two feel to start, not even any embellishments. And then once you get really, really, really comfortable, you can start to add some of those embellishments on the bass and then also vocally as well. You can kind of get away from like the strict melody and you can kind of start to, once you get comfortable, play around with it. So it might turn into, ask me how do I feel cozy and clinging? Well, sir, all I can say is if I were rebel, I'd be bringing from the moon and we kiss goodnight that's the way i just gotta be you can just start to play around with it a little bit more and then once you get even more comfortable with that in the two feel start to add the walk start to add the walking bass line and you would have wanted to do that really separate from the voice so you kind of you're really comfortable with that walking bass line you can still do something pretty basic like ask me how do i feel cozy and clinging just quarter notes. Well, sir, all I can say is if I were a bell, I'd be ringing. Before you even go to do that, if that's, if that's a little bit too much of a challenge to start, just stick to the one note per chord, just like this. Ask me how do I feel cozy and clinging. Well, sir, all I can say, and then you kind of start to add you know, a third, a fifth, here and there, make it a little bit more comfortable. And then once you've really conquered singing a melody with the bass just straight up, then the fun challenges for me come for when it's really difficult and I can't get something. Maybe I want to do an arrangement. I did an arrangement of Willow Weep for me with a funkier bass line. And I really had the bass line down in mind and it, I couldn't figure out how to put the voice over it. It was a little bit hard. So then you just slow everything down. And the bass line I wanted was like this. One, two, three, four. And the melody, melody to that songs to that song without that bass line just sounds like three, four. Will the weep for me? Will the weep for me? And I couldn't figure out coordinate how to do it. So you just slow it down. So I'm going to do it quite slowly, just the bass line slowly. Three, four. And then I'm just going to sing the melody. Three, four, one. Willow weep for me. Willow weep for me. So I just sing the melody, but then when I want to put it together with the bass line, maybe that's not exactly the rhythm of the melody that I want to sing. And so I'm going to keep doing it slowly and kind of fix the rhythm of the melody, how I kind of want the arrangement to sound. So I'm going to keep doing it really slowly and kind of figure out how I want it to fit. Three, four. Willow weep for me. Willow weep for me. Your branches down along the stream that runs to sea. Kind of using this. That's my anchor. And then vocally, I have to figure out when am I not singing with the bass? When am I in? When am I singing with the bass? When does the rhythm match up? When does it not match up? Do I want it to match? Do I not want it to match? Those kind of things are up to you but you, you, um, you'll instantly feel when something isn't matching up correctly. And that's actually the good part. And then you can kind of just break it down and, get, and go, okay, what's going on? Um, is the bass line getting in the way? Is the voice getting in the way? And you'll kind of figure out what you want to do. So these are just a couple quick tips if you want to start playing and singing the bass. Number one, divide and conquer. Do them separately, but equally do them really, really well. So know the bass lines, know everything you want to do with that, know the melody really well. And then once you start to put it together, take it really slowly 
um, until you get to the point where you feel very comfortable with it. But go, go ahead, feel free to try it. Everyone should try it. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're interested in my course from beginner to bandstand, please click the link below.